and hello 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 we're back we're back we're back sorry for cutting you off it's okay you were in the middle of a sentence and i pressed live it's sorry. fine i don't know what you were saying did you want to repeat it or was it private <laughs> i don't even remember now to be honest it was only 30 seconds ago <laughs> the countdown's only 10 i think seconds and we've been talking for 20 seconds so wasn't that long ago t yes okay um hello friends welcome Hi. in happy friday night who's got their cocktails who's got their cocktails because this woman is gonna have a cocktail and for those of you that don't know what that noise is, that's T's phone <laughs> that, I, that I always tell her to mute before we go live. <laughs> Heard that all last weekend. I thought I was going to be out of my freeze. <laughs> all I did was yell at her the whole time. Turn that thing off. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like all her notifications all sound like that. I hope everybody had a good day. T brought her dad to go get his uh, all his pre-testing for. Yeah, uh, it was a stressful day with dad. Yeah. That's and then okay. He call me after the. Oh my god, he's just a comedy show. The whole thing is a comedy show. You should have videotaped it. I would have watched it. I, I should have. You know what? I should have. I know. I love your dad. You should have. You should have gone live, or you should have videotaped it. We we his his primary care and his cardiologist on Fridays. They're both in the same location. I, it's my primary care and my cardiologist too. But Friday, so he set it up for today so that he could go to one and then follow it back to back with the other. So he made a twelve thirty appointment with the cardiologist and a one thirty appointment with the GP. So when we got to the receptionist desk, she said, we just need you to fill out this piece of paper just for Dr. Alexander. That's his primary. Okay. So she gives me the clipboard, the pen or whatever. And it's asking about the type of surgery my dad's going to have in the name of the doctor and the telephone number and the address and the fax number or whatever. So my father says, in my bag, he comes with this big briefcase, like he's going on a business trip, right? It's all full of all of his medical history and all of his papers. Like they don't have it in the computer, right? So he has a whole spreadsheet because this is my father, Venn diagrams, 100%. He has everybody's name on a spreadsheet with their address, with their phone number, what their specialty is, the whole thing. So he goes, just it's in, it's in the folder in there. Just copy it all from there. Okay, so I get out Dr. Jamal, who's the surgeon, right? I write down, you know, his address, his phone number, his fax number. So he's busy. I don't know what he was doing. So as we're waiting for the cardiologist... He says, no, 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 no. I said, what? He said, you, you wrote the wrong fax number. I said, that's what's on the paper. Oh, no, you took the old one. I made a new one this morning. I must have not thrown that one out. So we looked through the thing. There's four copies in there. Oh, with that fax number. He threw the wrong ones out. <laughs> and oh, he's yelling no. at me that I put the wrong fax number on the thing. But he has to tell then the doctor, the cardiologist, the story, make sure the cardiologist has the right number. Then he's got to tell his GP. And then he calls me up about an hour ago and says, they called, they got all the results except for the um, the cardiologist's uh, EKG. I bet he took that wrong fax number. I said, no, he didn't take the wrong fax number because I never had to give him that piece of paper. Yes, he took that. I said, dad, the clipboard stayed on my lap the whole time we were in the cardiologist's office. He never saw that fax number. So he was trying to blame it. His mistake and trying to blame it on me. Oh my God. <laughs> Crazy. Sorry, that's, Dad, if you're watching. <laughs> that, that's normal. That's parents. That's normal. Oh my gosh. He is a riot, though. He really is. He he definitely is. Yeah, he's so sweet. He's a very sweet old man. But it's never like yes and no. It's always like He's very good at fixing things. I mean, that's why the man got a scholarship to MIT, right? He knows how to do everything. So if you bring him something over to fix, a radio, like, you know, sometimes here we sell things electronics and I'm like, oh, dad, maybe you could take a look at this. 
Well, not only does he take a look at it and he fixes it, but he's got to draw you a diagram about what was wrong and the wire was broken here and this little tip came off over here. And, uh, and I'm like, Dad, thank you so much for fixing it. I so appreciate it. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> You're lucky. You're lucky you have him. I know I am. I, believe me, I, I love him to death. Don't get me wrong. He's just... You're very lucky. Yeah. People would die to have their dads around. I know. I know. So you're very, very fortunate. Little Martin's Nest, $2 super <laughs> chat. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Little Martin's Nest. Where is that? Oh, right, he is. Yeah, he is. Yay. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for the support. Let's say hello to our friends. Of course, first in the chat, Little Martin's yes, Nest. Yes. And there's Shriker. Shriker has the registration link right there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shriker. And look at he's already dropping links to the store. Thank you. Hello, Virginia. Hey, Virginia. Welcome in, sweetheart. Carol Ann. Hey, Carol Ann. I missed you last night. I needed to talk to someone about um, chickens and goats, and you weren't around, but I fell asleep so early. Ooh, look at Lava Lamp tonight. Pretty, pretty. Donna has no concept of time. We all live in Donna's world and go by Donna time. I know, you guys. I, I started going through some of those bags from that Palm Beach organizer lady, and I got, I got, I lost track of time and, and then I needed to, from working all day, I needed to like take a shower and get ready. And so that's why I delayed it for an hour. Waiting. Sorry. Sorry we're late. Hi, believable blessings. Thank you for I being here. Blessings. Kyle Elliott had two different people buy my Funko Pops on eBay now and then not pay for it hard to sell shit when fake buyers can just not pay for a week and then ask for it to be canceled hmm that very very rarely happens to me that's weird that it happened to you twice in like one day i wonder what's going on with that um can you report can you report them or just give them uh, well, I'm they will if you. if you if you click on a non-payment if you open up a case. I think there's a certain amount of strikes and they they remove the person. Hi, Frank. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Thanks for being here. Swamp is in the house. Hi, Lynn, nice to see you. Hi, Dora. Hi, Hi Dora. And let's see who else is here. Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hello, sweetheart. And Sherry. Hello. Thank you for coming Hi, in. Pam Hewitt. Hi, Hi Pam. Pam. Welcome in, Jim, Jim G. <laughs> T and Donner. T and Donner. Lindsay Ann, hello, sweetheart. Hey, Lindsay Ann. Thanks for coming in. Susan Arrington, hello, sweetie. Hey, Susan. And Ruth Bond, good to see you, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Welcome in. Donna Summers. Hello. Hey, Carol. Hello, beautiful. Good to see you. He's a walking computer. He is. We built our first computer together, too. <laughs> Trust I me. I learned how to solder and all kinds of boards. <laughs> Look who's here. Oh, Sheila. Hi, honey. Haven't seen you forever in a day. Nice to see you. Mrs. Anonymous. Hello. Mrs. Anonymous. Hello, hello. We, we need a chat. I need a nice long chat with you. Picky Nikki. Picky Nikki. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in. It's so good to see you. Ozma. Hello. Hey, Ozma. Hello. Sounds familiar because she yeah. has a she has a big eBay store. She's been selling for years like you. Huh. 
sounds slow like my dad. Yeah. yeah. Very sweet. Very sweet. Hey, Vet Picks. Hello. Hey, Vet Picks. Thanks for coming in. She says, my dad is the same way. My mom and I specifically try not to ask, how do I do anything? Because you get the history of everything. Right? <laughs> it's so true, Asma. <laughs> Crystal, I hey, answered Crystal. your email. Crystal, I answered your email, honey. And I apologize. Kathy's Corner. Hey, KK. KK, how are you, honey? Hey, you didn't day. answer me the other day. I overslept. I felt so bad. And then I went back. I, did you even go on, honey? I, I don't know, honey, please talk to me. Donna, if you ever come across health and beauty items on a storage, I can purchase from you and pick up health and beauty items. All right. I definitely will keep that in mind. And Mimi, I didn't have a chance to look. Did I ship you something and not charge you? You guys, if I do that by accident, please tell me. <laughs> I have to look. I haven't. I haven't had a chance to look. I don't know what you were. Um, I wrote it down, but I didn't have a chance to look. You don't really want me to start this conversation, do you? No. <laughs> I know. I did it today too. I did it. I did it to um, Dorito to Amy. I shipped her a dog lot, and I was like, "Oops, I have to. Sh I have to bill her first. <laughs> I shipped it and put the tracking number in it, and then I was like, "Oops, I didn't. I didn't bill her first. Oh well." Vintage Treasures, hello. Hey, in. Hi, Paul. Heather MC, hi, ladies. I've been watching you guys for a few weeks now. I don't resell big, but I just have a booth, but I really enjoy seeing everything you guys have. Heather, thank you oh, so much. Thank you, Heather. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. And Pammy, hello, Pammy. Hey, Welcome Pammy. in. And there's my friend, Ed. Hello, Ed Jafrida. Hey, Ed. Welcome in, sweetheart. Cindy Murphy, hello. Hi, Cindy Murphy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got a nice crowd coming in. You guys are awesome. Lindsay, did I say hi to you? I think I did. Christine O'Brien, hello, hey, sweetheart. Welcome in, Jack Roberts. Robertson. I I, I want to say Robertson. I'm sure everybody does. I know. It's Robertson. I'm sure everybody's made that mistake for a long time on you. Hi, Trisha. Hey, Trish. Moses. Florida life. A thousand things to do here. Well, welcome to Florida. I think she moved to, I think you said you were moving to Port St. Lucie, which is about an hour north of me. So she's close now. Wonder Woman. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Who was Wonder Woman? It's been a long time. Do we? I don't remember Wonder Woman. Is that bad that I said that out loud? No. Wonder Woman, welcome back. Jabby's Treasures, welcome hey, in. Treasure. Thank you for coming. How are you, Jay? Wonder Woman. It has been a long time. Oh, did you hear that? That was my yeah. stomach. Kimberly Garcia. Hey, Kimberly. Welcome in, sweetie. There's Craig. Hey, Craig. Hope you're feeling How well. How are you, sweetheart? We miss you when you're not here. And there's Desert Girl Jill. Hey, girl. Hey, Jill. <laughs> Louise. Hey, Louise Morissette. Long time no see oh, for you. We haven't seen you forever. Welcome in. Boatman, boatman. Oh, boatman, boatman. Yes, that's where she moved to. So we're close. We're very close. Flipping hot vines. And Mr. Harry Humpstone. Hey, Welcome hey, Harry. in, Harry. Thank you. Texas girl here. Texas girl. Wonder Woman. Hmm. You've got me stumped. Lost treasure return. 
You've been here? Nancy. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, Nancy. Welcome in. Uh-oh. He says, I'm okay, sort of. All right. All right. Well. Have fun. Have a fun Friday night with us. You'll feel better. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Awesome. 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 Nice crowd strolling in. Appreciate each and every one of you. So what do you got, T? What do I got, T? Well, I don't know. I just have so much stuff. I have um, I have some cars. I have some figures. I have some 45s. I have some posters. I did Mrs. Anonymous. I are. have some ephemera, music lots, sports lots. I have the kitchen sink tonight. You do? Jade Moon. Hey, Jade. You going for an evening hike tonight, honey? The weather getting better? Well, I I might have something that looks like this. I might have some of that tonight. Oh, awesome, Craig. Hope you like them. Horses? Yeah. Oh, you're recovering from your second COVID shot. Oh. That's a bummer that people have to actually recover. Oh, you went and got your shot today. Boatman, Boatman went and got a shock. Schreiker. He goes, tease. <laughs> okay, so for some reason, Vet Picks is missing his wrench. All right, I'll go and over to you. Rich is too. over here from last night, so we'll give him a wrench. No, Gettysburg, Rich. I didn't send you an invoice. Did he buy something from you? No. He bought something, from, bought something from, from me, but I didn't send you an invoice. I think it was um, a small. Anybody that bought anything small, um, I'm going to wait until after the weekend. So hopefully if you buy something else, I can do combined shipping. Anybody that bought anything really big went out today like big bundles. So I'll send you the, I'll, I'll send, I'll be sending you. I've been feeling great. My arm is still swollen and painful and my lymph glands are swollen 2.5 weeks after my first shot. Wow. Oh, wow. Sandy Kirk. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, Sandy. Oh, maybe vets picks. He said, Oh, maybe it's the first time he's actually come over to your channel. That's why he doesn't have a wrench. All right. We'll get you in rich. Uh, we'll have, we'll have, um, you will wrench you guys up. I got a package today. I opened it up and did not know what the heck it was. It's a box was a disaster because it weighed a ton. The UPS man came later and said it belonged to someone else and took it. <laughs> Good thing you didn't open it. Did, did it have you your name it? on it? <laughs> That's Good thing weird. you didn't open it. Oh, she can't lift her shoulder above, lift my arm above my shoulder. Oh, wow. I never straighten it out. It's crazy. Which shot did you get, Mrs. Anonymous? I'm curious. Oh, Nancy said she opened it. Oh. Sergeant Spork. Hey, Sergeant Spork. Let's see what Jim says. Hold on. It just jumped. Yeah, Rich, I have to. I had an issue after my second shot, too. Was sick for about eight hours after second shot, but was 100% fine after that. Wow, Jim. That's too bad. She I'm got that. so apprehensive. <laughs> Moderna. Moderna, Moderna, yeah. Yeah, and then there was something that came out last night about J&J, &J and I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of sitting back and seeing the side effects and the long-term effects. I'm going to wait. My, my cardiologist was yelling at me today. T. <laughs> Hi, Stephen. You know, it's really funny. You know, I went and had all my testing done, right? And um, the nurse practitioner, <clears throat> who I have a very, very good relationship with, I've told you, she's, you guys, I, I can call the nurse practitioner 
and I asked for an order of antibiotics and she sent them to me to the pharmacy without seeing me. I mean, what doctor's office does that? That's like incredible. Like there's doctor's offices don't do that anymore. Like they just don't do it. Period. Right. That's when I was having my tooth infection. Remember I was having all that pain. Right. And three rounds of antibiotics, you guys, three rounds of antibiotics. And I knock on wood. I got to find wood. Hold on. That's not wood. <gasps> Your hands. I got a cramp on my leg. On your leg. I thought it was your hand again because you last night it was a cramp in your hand. Why am I cramping up so I bad? I don't know, but you got to take some magnesium or something. No, I was knocking on this. Yeah, Christine O'Brien says her husband and her brother had the Pfizer and they were fine. And that's the one I'm leaning towards. I love you more than they'll ever know. It was a gift, remember? It's so yeah. beautiful. I love it. I keep it right here and I read it. I read it all the time. That's what I was knocking on because the frame is wood. I love that. It's so beautiful. Andrea Baker. I'm dehydrated. I've been, all, Andrea, all I, I have my coffee in the morning and then I drink water the rest of the day. It's all I she drink. She drinks a lot of water. She does I, drink a lot of water. I do. I drink a ton of water. I drink water all day long. So, but Andrea, I'm glad you're here because I'm going to be showing some clothes tonight. And um, I bought, I got another, um, my rich lady, my my um, Palm Beach organizer did another rich lady closet. Florida has amazing health care. I can't believe other states charge our insurance the same rate. Yeah, there's a lot of really great doctor's offices down here because we have so many seniors that come down here and retire. Hi, Gabby. Hey, Gabby. 111 in the chat. Thank you, Gabby, for remembering. Oh, I wonder if she wrote that when I held up that sign. Oh, I, I don't know. Finally giving me 108 people in the chat. Cat's meow. Hello. Pfizer and had no soreness or anything, but I, but I kept on working. Had no soreness or anything. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the Pfizer so far has been pretty... Uh, I don't think I can take the Moderna. I asked the cardiologist today because I have a shellfish allergy and I swore I read somewhere that people who were having side effects with Moderna had a shellfish allergy. June bug to the world. You may be just one person, but to that to one person, you may be the world. That's so sweet. Aww, June bug. Jade says, yep. 111. Shoot, I'd lay down to take a nap and just woke up. What did I miss? Nothing, nothing Susan. No, no, nothing, Susan. We're just saying hello to everybody. That's it. And just uh, my beautiful flowers, you guys, that Susan sent to me. It's, they're going to smell so amazing when they start to open. So beautiful. I agree, Ozma. That's why I'm hesitant. That's 100% why I'm hesitant. With all this vaccination stuff and anything the government wants you to put into your body, none of this is FDA approved or long-term studied. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I started to say when I went to the doctor to get all of my testing done, the nurse practitioner, she looked at me and she goes, are you interested in getting vaccinated for the COVID? Um, whatever she said. And I said, mm, no, I don't think so. She goes, okay. Handed over the paperwork to the secretary and like not, I, I really was kind of expecting to get pressured pressure. She kind of, well, I've been going to her for three years, you know, ever since my stroke is when I went to this office because they specialize in, um, it's a, it's a regular doctor's office, but they have, um, specialist on a neuro neurologist on their team. That's why I started going to that office. That was my follow-up doctor's office that I had to go to. And then I stayed. stayed. Yeah. I just stayed because they were so wonderful to me. And, um, and I think like maybe three years ago, like, right after I had that stroke, she, she may have said to me, you should get a flu vaccination. And I was like, cause I don't get flu vaccinations either. You guys, I never get flu vaccinations. I've had, I've had the flu twice in my life. One time I had the flu. I just, I was sick 
The other time I had this like A and B. I think I had the A, when I had the A strain, man, I'll tell you what, I was in bed for a week and a half. I couldn't even get out of bed. Couldn't get out of bed. I had eBay, that's when I had my big eBay store and I had eBay orders that I had to ship and I would get up I and I was, you know, shipping out like, you know, 25, 30 orders a day and I would get up and I would do like three orders and I'd have to go lay back down and then I'd get up and like do three more orders. It would take me like an entire day just to get my orders out because it was so bad, the, the flu. But right. people, people get the flu even with the flu shot. Oh yeah. I told you my husband after he got the flu shot was like sickered for two weeks, but I asked the other thing too. I said to the cardiologist today and he said, you know what? He's, he swears that from now on, we are going to be just like China come the fall and the winter because this season there was no such thing as the flu. And it was because everybody was wearing a mask. He swears, he says, there was no flu. There was no flu season. Nobody got the flu because everybody was wearing a mask. Mrs. Anonymous says, I'm allergic to eggs. And no flu shot for me. Why? So does with my dad. Shot? Yeah. Does the flu shot have eggs in it? Mm -hmm. Albumin. I don't know. <gasps> Frenchie! You know, she called, you know, she called me yesterday and do you know how disciplined this is how disciplined I am you guys with my work she called me yesterday she was in West Palm Beach she's on the other side of the coast okay she's like three hours from me on the other side of the coast and she said my daughter and I are in West Palm Beach we're gonna have lunch is there any way that you can sneak away and I said no I couldn't I wanted so bad to just drop everything and go and meet them but I couldn't, there was no way I could. There was just no way. I had way too much work, but- I um, promise his mom. Kathy, <laughs> oh, on. Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Hello, Kathy, hi, sweetheart. Kathy's a good friend of mine from down here, you guys. None of my friends come to see me on YouTube, just Kathy does. Well, no. I'm Asma, I know. My no, I'm not staying in New York. Don't worry, Asma. I'm out of here so fast. I, I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. I'm. All my good friends do come see me on YouTube. All my outside of YouTube friends don't come see me. My friends don't even know what I do. Very few of them do. I tried to call and check on you. You did. Hmm. I think I missed your call. Hey, Big Red. Welcome in. Hey, Big Red. Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia. Dedication. Yep. Yep. Frenchie. I'm so mad. I missed it. I missed coming to, um, today you tried to call me. Well, I, I, I had a really, really busy day today, but I didn't see your, I didn't see your number come up on my call log. So I'm sorry. I would have loved a quick chat with you, but I had a really, really busy day, Kathy. Let's try to talk tomorrow. Oh, the date. She knows. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Thank you for remembering me. Hmm, Donna, never got a reply to the message last few weeks of invoices. You said you still have them. I do. I have just, a, I just have a couple of things of yours. I have a cookie monster and I have, um, I, I held on to it while you were in the hospital. And then I have some cords, um, some GameStop cords and, um, I'm going to have to look, they're on the hold shelf. And, uh, I, I did go over to the hold shelf today because there was a package there. Um, thank you, Kathy. You're so sweet for thinking of me. I love you, honey. Um, but I'll try to get to it tomorrow and see what I have of yours. Hey, Maria, um, Maria. Hi, Maria. Got the flu shot once in my life, went in the hospital two weeks, never again. Wow. Wow. Lost city treasure. Okay. My, my friends have no idea I resell. Feel like they wouldn't even begin to understand. Fell into reselling after a bad breakup and it kept my mind busy. I love it to this day. I know, right, Jim? Yeah, they don't understand the whole concept. 
they most don't. Don't. They, don't. They, they don't understand the whole concept. But, you know, um, when I went out on that boat ride, you know, with, uh, with um, uh, Caesar's parents, I mean, they were kind of intrigued with what I do. You know, people sometimes get in, intrigued. I put a pizza in the microwave at 11.11 today. And then five minutes later, I was finishing up my my driving mileage sheet and I drove exactly 1,111 miles in March. Wow, Kyle. Wow, Kyle. Denali. I'm sticking by you. Yeah, Denali's sending you messages, honey. He sure is. If you're seeing the 11s, yep. If you're seeing the 11s, he's sticking with you for some reason. That's awesome. Let's see. Donna, I don't have any notice from you, but you do need to bill me so I can pay. Give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look into it tomorrow. Donna, you finally got my address right. Yes, I did. I deleted your old address. Where's Pat D's? My new tub has been installed up north and I have to take a class to learn who to work it. <laughs> How to work it, she meant. How to work it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you so much for coming in. I think we're going to get started. Um, that was like the biggest hello, 31 minutes. Right. <laughs> right. Shriker, thank you so much for being here. Um if there's any other mods in the chat, I don't know if Janine is here or Mama G, if you're in the background and you wanna help out, we appreciate any help um, that you wanna give. Do you wanna go first or you want me to? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. All right, I think I will, um, I think I will, let me see. Hold on a second, let me go grab something. I went first last night, it's your turn. All right, here's a good lot. This is a pretty neat reseller lot. Um, so it is full, and I counted them, you guys, ahead of time. 39, there are 39 playing cards, and I'll show you some of them. Um, they're all mixed. There's some, it was so funny. When I was looking at these, I was like, has Carnival Cruise Line, I'm going to put myself on full screen, has Carnival Cruise Line started their cruises yet? Because these may be collectible someday <laughs> if they don't go back. Have they started cruising yet? I don't know if they have because of COVID. I feel like this is, I feel like Car Carnival is where this whole thing started. Like didn't a couple of ships come into port with a lot of very sick people and that's kind of like how it started. Um, okay, so you get some Carnival, you get some Royal Caribbean, um, you get some, some of them are brand new, unopened. Um, I'll just go, I'll just go through them really quick and show you what's in here so you know what you get. Now, the open ones, you guys, I, I didn't go through. Jenny. <laughs> I didn't. Jenny writes, I may fall asleep if I bid more than 200. Please disregard. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, vet picks. Let me um, wrench you. It was, right? It was Princess Cruises that brought it into. I remember that. Um, I'm on both cats meow. Hi, Mama G. Hey, Mama G. Hi, honey. Moses is sleepy. Okay. Richard. All right. So these um, Singa Singapore Airlines, um, the box is a little bit beat up, I think. Or is it supposed to be that way? Oh, no. The box is a little beat up. All right. So Caribbean, Caribbean and Carnival. I'll just show them to you really quick. Show you what I got here. These are um, Singapore, Singapore Airlines as well. This one, Martinique. Here's Delta, right? Somebody's flying and taking a lot of cruises. Uh, Royal Caribbean. 
Here's another carnivals. These are not opened. I wonder if they even give playing cards away anymore on airplanes or um, carnival on on cruise ships. Probably not. I don't believe so. So these are going to be collectible someday, you guys. <laughs> Tower Air. Has anyone ever heard of Tower Air? Never heard of it. No, they're not all new, Jenny. They're, um, some of them are opened, and I did not count them. I'm sorry. So you'll have to. Um, but, like, for example, these are brand new, unopened. Um, these are brand new, unopened. Um Hey, Heather Blackwell. Heather's in for 31. Thank you, Heather. Here's another Singapore and another Singapore. Hey, Boston. Hi, honey. Yeah, you're right, Mrs. Anonymous. They're probably in the gift shops on the ships. Another Singapore. This one. Carl Lamour playing cards. Don't know what that is. Here's Delta. Here's Kent. This is unopened. So you've got quite a few here that are not not open. This is a souvenir. It's a souvenir plastic playing cards. It's a souvenir on it. I don't know. A souvenir from where? I have no idea. Um, this one is not opened. Canada. Um, here's Scooby-Doo and this one is not opened. This one is opened. That one is opened and that one is open, open, open and open. Um, there's more. I'm almost done. Royal Caribbean Carnival unopened. Royal Caribbean again and Royal Caribbean, but this one's opened. All right. We have Craig Wolf at 42. And then we have, this one is open and open again. That one is open. This one is open. And this one is not. And yeah, this is a nice lot for anybody who likes to do smalls. Here's one. That one is open. And this one is not. I mean, yes, it is. This one is open. No, it's not. Is it? Yes, it's open. And that Frank one is comes open. in at 46, and they're asking how many? 39. 39. Like they didn't hear you. Huh? <laughs> 39 of them. Um, I know when I had my store that vintage playing cards sell very well. Um, and I know that there's a certain bicycle one. I'm not sure which one that sells really well. I just was like looking up solds on cards one time when I was listing my vintage ones. And I was like, holy cow. Now, I don't know if I have that one because I don't remember the color that it was. But there's a certain color or a certain one that is, um, is it's sought after. I remember that for sure. So it can be a bolo. I wonder if Courtney has ever done these Singapore ones, Singapore Air. Should we open one up and see if the cards have all different pictures on them? I wonder, right? Let's look. Oh no, they all have the same picture. They all have the same picture on this one. These look like they might be like metal ones. I'm not sure. Um, I 
Yeah. So that's my playing cards. And Craig is at 50. Open the Scooby-Doo. Oh, really? Open the Scooby-Doo? You think the Scooby-Doo one has all different pictures? Let's see if I can find it. This one? Oh, it's taped. It's been taped closed. I mean, I, it's been, it looks like it's been opened, but I'm going to leave it taped. I'm going to leave it taped. I can't tell if that's somebody's tape or if that's um, actual, like, packaging tape. But I'm going to leave it closed. Sold, sold, sold for $50 to Craig. Thank you. All right. So let me just put these out of the way and jot it down on my list real quick. Congratulations, Craig. Thanks. Thank you so much. $50. Okay. Um, so what do you guys think? Should we bring one of these? What do you think, Shriker? What do I got here? PSA graded, number eight, R2D2. Any Star Wars lovers out there? This is something that you should put away. PSA Sports Authenticator. No interest? Um... All right, we'll bring them back. I'm going to pass on it. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back another time. Um, okay, let me go grab something else. Boston, you need to move, baby. I need to get in and out. You can't lie here. Go, 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 go. Keep going, sweetheart. Keep going, honey. Keep going. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I know. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, so this is going to be a reseller clothing lot. Yes, I'll bring it back later in the show. Okay, here we go. So let's start this at $25. So this one is a Vince Camuto size medium. This came from the rich lady's closet. So you get one. It's very weird. She had like some really expensive clothes and then she had some ordinary clothes. Here's a Chico's jacket, size one. It's blue. It feels like it's a like a raw silk or something. Um, it's a pretty jacket. 
pretty blue, size medium. Next we have, let's see here. This is beautiful. This is a Ralph Lauren and it has the beautiful crest on it. It's double breasted um, with the buttons and it has little pockets. Should we check the pockets for money or no? But yeah, this is this is a beautiful jacket. The size has been cut off of it, but all of her clothes were mediums and larges. This looks like it might be more like a large. Where's that ding, ding, ding coming from? I don't know where that ding is coming from. Oh, oh, it's this. You hear that? What is it, the oh. zipper? No, it's the buttons. Oh. It's the, it's the buttons clinking together. I'm like, what oh, is that? Okay. Could you hear it? Got it. Hear it? I'm yep. like, where is that coming from? KJ, welcome in. Hello, hello. Hey, KJ. Okay, the next one is uh, a Liz Claiborne, just an Oxford shirt. Pretty blue shirt. And the next one is a striped, it's called Manhattan, made in the USA. Um, no, no ring around the collar. So just a nice kind of preppy style shirt. Next is new with tags, hot pink, Donna Karen, size medium, feels like silk. Hi, um, Kyle. Don't know if it is silk but it certainly feels like silk. Let's see. What does the tag <laughs> Yes, say? KJ. Yes, And it's KJ, silk. I have to send you a message. It's a silk shirt. It's beautiful hot pink color. And then we have a Jamie Contemporary Clothing, 100% silk again. This woman loves silk. It's a very pretty green color. It's like a raw silk colored shirt. And next we have, it's called Rabble and it's a pretty sequence, very pretty sequence top. It's beautiful, beautiful sequence top. And then we have this one is called Love Stitch and it's a medium. And that's very pretty as well. And here is, it's a two piece. It still has the tags on it. It's pure silk, but it's washable. Um, the name on it is Sweat, and it's a jacket and pants. Jacket and pants. 100% silk. And pants, and it's a size, probably medium as well. Oh, it's a large. This is a large. Um, it has a zipper and a elastic on the bottom and then I have a Joseph A which is a nice brand and it's just a black sweater the Joseph A then I have this which is Boston proper and it's still brand new in the bag this woman had clothes that she didn't um, close with tags on them closing bags Here's a Joseph A, another very pretty beaded tank top. Hey, Saxton, welcome in. And then there are, this is Old Navy. It's really funny because she had like really expensive clothes and then she had like a mix of like ordinary clothes. This is a large Old Navy and it feels like linen 
relaxed fit standard. It does feel like linen. I mean, it's definitely cotton. It could be linen. Maybe that's why she bought it was because it's linen. It seems like she, most of her stuff was silk and linen. And then here is a pair of Lucky Brand um, Lucky Brand jeans. And they were are, are a size. Don't know. I don't know what size they are. It doesn't say it on here. Straight leg, 221 original. I don't know where the size is. I don't see the size anywhere on them. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Um, 3430. 3430 for the Lucky brand. I know I bought my son a pair of Lucky brand jeans. 34. These would never fit him. He's like a 31. Um, I paid a lot of money for him. Lucky brand can be very expensive. All right, so that's how many pieces of clothes you get. You get one, two, three, four, five, six is the jumpsuit or the jogging suit, two pieces, whatever it is, seven, eight. I love this one. This is so beautiful. Eight, that's nine. This green silk is ten. The hot pink silk is 11. The two just Oxford shirts, 12 and 13. The very nice Ralph Lauren jacket with the crest is 14. The Chico's is 15 and the Vince Camuto is 16. 16 pieces of clothing. Nice big bag, nice big bag full. Boston, you need to move, honey. Why are you in here? What's wrong, Papa? Saxton's at 55. Go lie down in the living room. He Austin. wants to be near his mama. He's always at my feet. You don't know how many times I've almost like tripped over him. He wants to be with his mama. Oh my gosh. He's always, always at my feet. No, Shriker, he doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't play ball. He doesn't, he's, he's an Australian shepherd, but he doesn't like the outdoors. He never goes outside. He goes outside to do and, then, and then he's at the door, like, crying to get in. He wants to come back in. He has, like, separation anxiety or something. I don't know what's wrong with him. He doesn't want to miss anything that's going on in the house. Sandy, why are you going, hmm? Boston is a good baby. He's protecting his mama. Yep. All right, Christina's out. Anyone else? Sandy is out. I know most Australian shepherds do. Hey, Kyle. Your dog's the same? Boston has FOMO. I spell Boston with two S's. Not that I'm being picky about the way I spell it, but I... That, but I do. I, we spell his name with two S's. It's Boston. He's the boss. And we usually call him boss because he is the boss. Okay. Saxton's going to steal this for 55. Good deal, Saxton. A lot of cute clothes in there. If you were to go out and buy them, some of those brand names, especially the Ralph Lauren. Yes, he's my prince. He is. It's true, Shelly. They're herders. Yep. Sold, sold, sold. <coughs> Excuse me. Lot number two. <coughs> $55 to Saxton. Thank you, Saxton. All right, honey. 
All right, here's my next slot. It's going to be some garbage pail kids. Um, are they? Yeah, they're stickers. These are stickers as well. So this is what I've got. I've got one. Two. This one is a puzzle. Three. Four. Gross. Five. Six. Seven. Ew. Eight. Ew. <laughs> Nine. Did you see it? Ew, yes. Did you? Yes. Ew. Ten. Ew, look at this one. He's got the cat in two pieces. Where's Elizabeth? <laughs> Ew. I don't know. What was I at? We'll say 12, I think. I lost count. Don't anybody interrupt me. 13, 14, 15, 16, right, Sandy? That's gross, too. Uh, 17, I think. 17 or 18, I'm not sure. <laughs> 19, 20. Christine, you might be lagging. Can someone write to Christine that she's lagging? I think she might be lagging. I think I'm at 19. I don't know. 20. 21. <laughs> 22. Stop, Kyle. Was I at 25? All right, I'll just count them at the end. I'm just going to show them to you, and then I'll count them because I don't know where I am. And I don't want to say you're going to get 25 and then you only get 19. You're going to be calling me up saying, you said there was 25. Oh, my gosh. Look at this Holly girl. The braided mustache. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. T, what are you doing back there? Re reorganizing the house? I'm sorry. <laughs> Playing with crossing cars. I like playing with crossing cars. Greta. Hi, hi, bye. Rudy Toot. There's Dale. Where's Dale tonight? Is he in the chat? Jake. Grace. Paul Suckling. Living by Faith. Dinah. We don't have a van. Jack O' Lantern. Casey, Warren, Brett, Sydney, and Larry Darling. Larry, you in the chat? She's bowling. I know, right? She muted herself or she went downstairs. I don't know. All right, I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, I don't know what she's doing. 34, 35, 36, 37, 
46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and 51. 51. Kyle Tehran in at 35. They're in very good condition. Hey, Kelly. Saxton comes in at 40. Kyle now at 45. Kelly's out. Saxton's at 50. Thank you, Saxton. Kyle's at 55. Thank you, Kyle. Sexton's out. Nobody else. We're going to give him to Kyle Taran. Taranzio. Kyle Taranzio. Sonia. <laughs> this should be educational video for whenever whatever kind of cards these are bucket guards did you see what zombie bargain hunters garbage no what are they at oh gosh courtney what are they at come on are you kidding are you telling us he's going to win? Um, I want to say, I don't think. Wow. 1985. And these are. These are 1986, $800. Here's a complete set first series. Holy cow. Oh, he's definitely winning the challenge. Yeah, nobody's coming close to that. Oh my God, that's crazy. Whoa. Sandy's like, more than you're more getting. Than you're getting. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Obvious. Thank you, Mrs. Obvious. <laughs> Holy cow. More than you're getting. Sandy. So it is. So it is. <laughs> <Sandy Kirk. laughs> Check out his other auctions. Look at Shriker's dropping my links. He's like, forget about him. I don't don his stuff. Thank you, Shriker, for being such a great cheerleader. Go away, Bolo Buddies. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, Courtney. I love you. You know I do. Somebody needs to bid on my Christmas cookie toy. You guys don't know what a bargain that's at right now. <laughs> Saxton's like, list shit, Donna. Saxton, <laughs> you want to sell me back the Amanda Adams pants? I'll list those. Don't you just think about it? <laughs> hey, Mary Pelletier. Sandy Kirk's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> My son, look. Was the pasta good? <laughs> he made pasta tonight. He's such a good boy. <laughs> I have to answer him. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, who won these, Kyle? Kyle, 55. 55 to Kyle. Kyle to run. Garbage pill kids. All right, you're up, honey. Okay. 
Thank you, Kyle. Um, I think the, the Kobe's at like 105. I think the Kobe's at 105. I haven't looked today, to be honest with you. I've been so busy. Yeah, somebody somebody made me an offer for um the Lana of London purse. They offered me um $95 for it, but there was already bids on it. So I can't take a $95 offer if there's bids on it. They must not know how eBay works. Well, not only that, but they 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 we found out they're a pocketbook reseller. So she's she's lowballing you on that. Yes, yeah, yeah, she is lowballing me on that. So she is a reseller. Interesting point because we looked because we I looked up to see if she was a reseller. So if she's a reseller and she saw that there was bids on the purse, why would she think? What well, I can't take the purse down because T, can you come on the screen with me? Yeah, as soon as you put me on. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought we were on your channel. Soon as you put me on. <laughs> I just I just got bids. Some people are bidding. Thank you thank guys. You guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, somebody must have put it's on the it's on the Hummel. The gobo. Yeah, there's automatic bidding going on. Yeah, there's so that was like odd. Somebody put a bid on it, and then it kept bidding up to that point. Um, so yeah, so she must have. Yeah, but that's true. See what Carol wrote. You must have left the offers on. Did you? Because there is a button that says accept offers. Oh, and I can still accept offers. Yeah, up until up until forty eight hours or something before it goes off. Oh, I, did, I know I somebody know. sent me a couple offers, and you know what? The two things I got offers for, they, they're way higher than they they offered. So, wasn't doing it. Oh, you got offers too? Yeah, silly things like on the headsets. It's already above what they wanted to give me for it. Um. So selling. How, how can they? The sneakers were the other thing. Lois and taken. I think they wanted to. Give me forty dollars or something for the sneakers. See, it's it's. Oh, she offered me, she offered me ninety five dollars, and it's only at right now eight dollars and fifty cents with That's five more. We'll go. So, um, let me see if I go, if I go into it, <coughs> where would it say? Someone, someone, go look at it. There's Pat D's. Somebody was looking for you, Pat D's. Who was looking for Pat D's? Well, besides us. Somebody was asking for you, Pat. Oh, Frenchie. Frenchie, Frenchie wanted to know if yeah. she had a question about her bathtub. You missed her. She says, do you have a buy it now price that you would accept for this bag for immediate payment? So... Someone go look at it for me and, and tell me. Oh, someone just bid on it for me. Thank you. Someone just bid on the purse. So I hope it goes up to at least that because she's going to want to buy it. No one's bidding on it. How you doing, Matt Jones? All right, T, you're up, honey. All right. All righty. I have a box of cars, carded cars. Oh, it is. Oh, she says the make the offer. Make the offer is gone. Oh, Does it disappear? Okay. This is an Austin Powers. Hi, Matthew. Welcome in, sweetheart. Hi, Janine. Hey, Janine. Exactly right, Janine. Yep, you're absolutely right. Okay. So Courtney says, once you have a bid, it goes away. She offered me that price when the, there was bids on it already. She offered me that price. There was already Are bids sure? on it. Are you sure? No. But I thought as soon as I put the stuff up, I got bids right away. Yeah. I don't remember because that was when I was with you. So I don't 
I don't know. KJ comes in at 25. This one's a little, uh, it's a little folded, this one. <laughs> All right, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. I just hit my computer. Shoot. Ten. Eleven. And 12. Pat, I forgot what video I was supposed to comment on. I hope you guys will comment in on the video. We have a giveaway tonight. That was General from Dukes. The orange one. Oh, okay. This one? That's Dale Earnhardt, 1976 U.S. Army Chevrolet Malibu. Kelly, hip flipping mama, welcome in. Hey, Kelly. Hi, honey. What this one you meant? That was orange, too. All right. Are we selling it? We're selling it. We're selling it. Sold to Desert Girl Jill for 
$45. Thank you, Jill. Oh, that's a bummer, Nancy. I find that um, certain parts of the country, the mail carriers or whatever it is, T, you, you have the same problem. There's certain buyers that it seems like when they receive things, things end up broken. Um, and then there's other buyers that never receive anything broken or boxes crushed or damaged. It's, right. it's very strange. All right. We're going to stay on the car thing because they're impeding my desk here. These are all Tootsie. Tootsie, Tootsie, goodbye. <laughs> I should have counted them beforehand, so we'll have to count them after. <laughs> I know. It seems to be the same areas. Must be where they don't care. I don't know. Hi, Pat D's. Welcome in. It's me, Patties. What is Pat saying? What is he saying? What is he saying? Because is that Donna or is that the lamp trying to be Donna? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's smart, Nancy. I used to have that. I used to have, I used to put my mannequin on a, um, on a big turntable. On a big turntable? Mm -hmm. I would dress my mannequin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Put it on the turntable and then take a front, a side, a back, and not have to, like, keep moving it around. And it would just spin the turntable. Got so it. that's great, Nancy. You can do that with um, you can do that with anything. Just put a piece of um, uh, foam fo uh, foam core on it, and if you're taking pictures of shoes or whatever, just put the shoes on top of the foam core, the white foam core, and then you can just spin that around instead of having to pick up the shoes and move them around. Right, right, right. Nancy says, that's what I do for my jewelry. Hundred and eleven in the chat. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And I hit thirty eight hundred subscribers today, you guys. Oh, that's so cute, Patrick. All right, I'm going to see where my black tray is so I can hmm, show these a little bit better. Hi, Mary Pelletier. Hi, Chachi. Now, Ch is Chachi um, registered? I think they are, right? Yes, yes, Chachi is registered, yes. Welcome in, Chachi. Let's see if I can show them a little bit better on here. There may be too many for here, but thank you, Donna Summers. Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, it was it, um, sometime this afternoon. <clears throat> I really have to thank Mr. Um, Buys a lot. He's been a great supporter of the channel. 
I've been selling more stuff from my little box, which means more shout outs in my videos. Oh, yeah. I mean, Courtney, you're unbelievable. You're always sending people over here, too. Which is amazing. Thank you so much, Courtney. I can't wait for you to come back and do your bolos Wednesday nights, you guys. will be coming back in May to do the bolo show. She's taking April off. Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. It's so educational. You learn so much. Bolo Buddy says, T, I'm listening from my vintage toy box, and that thing was loaded, so you'll be getting lots of shout-outs in the future. Also, T, I'm working on listings so I can show the unboxing. Okay, I send you that list. Courtney, let me know if you need anything else. Ozma says, I found you guys from Bolo Buddies. Thank you, Ozma. Thank you, Courtney. Courtney's such a great supporter of ours. All right, so this is what you got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I didn't even plan that out. <laughs> Courtney, 20, Courtney, go ahead and drop your link to your new channel. 20 Tootsie Toys. And Courtney has a sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel that she's um, growing. That grew really fast, Courtney. Now she needs the watch hours, you guys. So you yeah, put it on loop. Put it on loop. If you want to help her out with the watch hours on that. She needs the watch hours so she can get it monetized. Anyone else? Summers is going to steal this one up. All right, we'll call it to Summers. Nope, Pam Hewitt came in at $30. And Bill, Billy came in at $35. Hey, Billy. Hi, Lisa Jenkins with the beautiful butterflies. Hello, sweetheart. Donna Summers, we've got Billy at 35 if you want to come in at 40. Or 37. 37. <laughs> she doesn't have to sorry. do 40. She doesn't have to do 40, sorry. <laughs> Pam Hewitt comes in at 38. Thank you, Matt Jones. Thank you, Matthew. Donna Summers comes in at 40. I'm hoping to have my hours in 15 days. Well, that's awesome. Does she got um, that calculated? Courtney, how are you figuring yeah, that one out? I'm the, I'm the opposite on Lava Lamp Live. I have the hours. I just don't have the subscribers. I need the hours and the subscribers over on Trucker T. Right. <laughs> But I'm going to put up my first truck video tomorrow. <laughs> Are you? I am. Pam Hewitt is at 42. See now, see all those trucks that you've got there? You should do a video on Trucker Tees of just showing those trucks on Trucker right. Tees. Right. That would have been a cute video. Patties. <laughs> Billy comes in at 50. Thank you, guys. All right, Pam is out. Thank you, Shelly. I know there's there's quite a few of you. When I wake up in the morning, there's like six or seven people, and I'm like, good morning, sometimes, and... No one's there. So I know everybody's just like, just left it running overnight. So Courtney, it's, it's, it's a new channel. <laughs> I don't think you'd be interested in it. No, you wouldn't be interested in it, Courtney. Just forget about it. No, Nikki, she's, mm -mm, no, uh-uh, mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> 
Boom, sex too. Sucks. All right, we're calling it to Billy at 50. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, I mean, it did start out as a joke, but now I truly am going to do truck videos. <laughs> All right, let's see. Four, two, not two. Yeah, right, Nancy? I bet you it would go very well. Gospel. Hey, Jules, welcome in. All right, sold to Billy. Thank you, Billy. Congratulations, Billy. I think first time winning with me, Billy. Congrats. All right. I have some 45s if anyone is interested. I didn't count them. Actually, I was in the middle of trying to still put a bunch together. But we'll do this. This is what the stack looks like, just so you guys get an idea of what's here. Um, where's my little yellow thingy? I always give a little yellow center. If I don't have one here, it will be included. All right, we're going to start it off with Elvis. Elvis Brisley. And Jimmy Briscoe and the Little Beavers. The Temptations. The Critters. In Excess. Def Leppard. Hey, Thelma. Weird Al Yankovic. Dave Edmonds. Planet P. New edition. The doors. The cufflinks. Johnny Tolotston? That's a new one for me. That's a new one for me. The Love Unlimited Orchestra. Toby Bow. Gene Knight. Babyface. Gary Chris. Miami Sound Machine. The Bar Caves. The Zombies. Imagination. R. Dean Taylor. The Beach Boys. Cerrone. Cool in the Gang. Juan Pachanga. Actually, it's Finea All Stars. That's what the group is. I'm sure, I know them. Yoko Ono. Howard, Howard Melvin and the Blue Notes. Willie Hutch. Ray Parker Jr. The 
you know what? Both Connie's. Connie books and things. She she hasn't been around. I know she was taking some time off, but she hasn't even popped in, and it's been over a month. So I don't know if anybody's seen her. And the other Connie, yes. All right, Jenny, honey. We'll see you over in Lava. Zap. Oh, yeah, you're talking about Connie Johnson, yeah. Hamilton Bohono. Yeah, both Connies. Bonnie Raitt. Ron Banks and the Dramatics. Lloyd Prince. GQ. Eddie Rabbit. Albert Hammond. Playboy Records, Willie Henderson, Dance Master. I think somebody tried to do their grocery bill on that one. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. Hartman, maybe? Littman? Atlantic Star, Secret Love, Bob Welsh. Thank you, Chachi. The Temptations, Richmond Extension, Curtis Mayfield. Ralph McDonald. Taco. Putting on the Ritz. You guys remember that? Putting on the Ritz. John Waite. Missing you and for your love. Billy Preston. Rockwell, obscene phone caller. <laughs> okay. American Pie. John McLean. What? Don McLean. <laughs> ba, ba, Miss American Pie. A taste of honey. Boogie, oogie, oogie. Richard Marks, Endless Summer Nights. David Essex, Rock On and On and On. Peaches and Herb. The choice for Shalimar. The Commodores. Johnny Taylor. Al Green. The Archies. Sugar, sugar. Hmm. 
the Jimmy Castor Bunch. Joey Scarberry. The theme from the greatest American hero. Champagne. Lighten up and help out us. And this one is Moments. And the last one, I don't read that language. Hopefully you guys do. Bobby Solo, Serenella. Looks Italian to me. We need Donna. All right, there you go. I don't know if anybody counted. If you did, great. If you didn't, whoopsie, whoopsie. <laughs> and if you didn't, oh, my God, it keeps hitting the, the, my camera. Sorry. <laughs> Knocked my chat. Knocked my chat out. The whole nine yards. All right. Anyone else? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whoops. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 67 of them. Should we make it an even 70? Why not? I'll make it an even 70. Rich wants to know what song by the doors. What song by the doors? Rich I needs a wrench, too. I, I just gave him one. Okay. <laughs> wow, 70 records? Yep. You've got... Greg at 42. Wild Child and Touch Me. And what do we say? We need three more. All right. So the three more I have here, I'll put them in sleeves, is the Beach Boys I Get Around and Don't Worry Baby. This one is the intruders. Hang on there. And nope, that's cracked. Got to get rid of that one. Uh, this one's also the intruders. Cowboys to girls. And turn the hands of time. And... No, I think this one's in there. I don't want to duplicate it on you if I don't have to. Barry Winslow and Elton John. There you go. It's at least 70 now. I don't remember. But you got at least 70 in there. All right. Let's call it. Let's call it. Let's call it. The units in for 45, 44, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking 45's on the brain. <laughs> 46 to Craig. Hey, Frank. 
Frank was here earlier. Oh, um, was he? Mm -hmm. I say hi. Maybe he stepped out to go pop some popcorn. Oh, maybe. All right, you the U.S. going to be out. We're going to call to Craig. Yep. All Craig right. For 46. Now I want popcorn, says Kyle. I bought popcorn because of Frank first time in nine years. I was eating it like a lunatic that night. I don't know what was wrong with me. <laughs> Chachi comes in at 50, right under the fair oh, warning. Thank you, Chachi. Oh, Chachi. Nipers. Sneaking Nipers. in. Had to. Such a nice set, Chachi writes. Oh, thank you. What do you think, Craig? Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Nope. Oh, you I said it. I had one of the yellow because I always include it. So we'll include this record too. This is the Romantics. Uh, I'm hip and talking in your sleep. And I had a Johnny Mathis sitting here too. I didn't realize underneath. Oh, I have this one here too. Might as well clean the desk off. Here we Yellen go. Of the guard, Gilbert and Sullivan. We'll throw that in there too. There we go. She's cleaning off the desk, folks. What's that big bucket o thing that you got back there? More cars. I got so many cars I could show. I have um, four. I have floors and buckets full of cars. Tons of cars. Tonka trucks and turtle and Chachi's proud. Chachi's proud. Wasn't. Wasn't planning on that swift move, but you did it. Ah. <laughs> I have to just wait. I have to look and see because I don't. So Chachi's a guy. Yes. Hi, Chachi. It's one of those names like KJ. You're not really sure if it's a man or a woman. I thought KJ was a woman when or KJ female. was a man or a female. Yeah. A man or a woman. That's what I said. When, K when Yes, I'm a man. Laugh out loud. When KJ first came in, we all thought, is KJ here? Yeah. <laughs> KJ, you here? Yeah. We all thought um, that KJ was a girl. That's all right. Everybody thinks Saxton's a boy. <laughs> Everybody thinks Saxton's a boy. Right, Saxton? I thought Saxton was like an older gentleman. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Completely the opposite. Right. A young woman. <laughs> Shelly's like, of course, Josh, she's a guy. Haven't you seen the TV show? <laughs> what, what? Which TV show? Happy Days. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry. I forgot about Chachi on Happy Days. Hi, KJ. And then actually, Joni and Chachi, I think, had their own spin-off. I think for a little bit, there was a spin-off there. <laughs> Shelly says, I thought Shriker was 20. Still do. <laughs> I'm the senior man, <laughs> Richard. Chachi Ocola, right? Craig comes in at 65. And Joni loves Chachi. Joni loves Chachi. That's what it was called. That's right. Um, Run Finger, yes. We are selling a big lot of 70, 45 records. Right now, yeah, we have. I think it's up to about 74. <laughs> and we're oh, doing awesome. All right. I guess we're going to sell them to Craig. I and we do. We do ask that it, uh, you send in a registration for bidding, please. And we invoice here. We don't require instant payment. Oopsie. Oopsie. All right. Congratulations, Craig. 
what do we sell for 65? All right, that's my three, Donna. Okay. Coming right up. Okay, hello, hello, hello. All right, so first item in my lot is going to be this really awesome hard bound secret case. It's like a book, right? But it's a case. And it's in excellent condition. Okay, so that's going to go with this lot. So you get that. And then you get one. Do you want me to read off the issue and the price? Uh, six fifty six is the issue. A dollar, a dollar twenty five. Sorry about the noise in the background. Um, one dollar issue number six twenty two, and one dollar twenty five cents issue number six forty four, and issue number six sixty three, one twenty five. A dollar twenty five. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. It's crazy looking. Okay. Um, 661, $1.25. And a dollar twenty-five, six sixty-two. Batman again. Why is sourcing with Bolo Buddy saying eek because of the picture? Um, 660, 125. All DC comics, all bagged and boarded. Um, a dollar twenty-five, six fifty-nine. Batman Detective is two, no, one dollar. Um, six eighteen. Oh, the loud noise! Yeah, it was just a pan. It's fine. I'm right next to my kitchen, so. Um, one dollar six nineteen. It's just a pan. Um, one dollar six twenty. And one dollar six twenty one. One twenty five six fifty one. 644 is $1. And 640 is $1. And 639 is $1. She's not at her desk. Um, uh, Courtney T, did you drop your store down? You know you get 10K. Yes, yeah, she did. She dropped her store down. This one is one dollar and it's six thirty seven. Um, six thirty six is one dollar. Thank you, Jules. Um, six thirty five is one dollar. And six thirty-two is one dollar. What is Amy saying? Chachi was Fonzie's cousin. Yes, I think Amy is um, lagging. Someone type in the chat that she needs to refresh because we were talking about that a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, but a few minutes ago. Six thirty-one is one dollar. So she might be lagging. Someone could type, Amy, refresh. You're lagging. Six twenty nine, one dollar, and six twenty eight is one dollar. Hi, Don. And this one, these are all in excellent. Don. These are all in excellent condition, by the way, you guys. Um, Two ninety five. This is an anniversary special. Six twenty seven. So this is like a thick one. 
And then this one is $1.626. So that's going to give you a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, plus the book. I mean, the box. Amy's just thinking out loud, <laughs> probably. <laughs> High bid is done at $30. All right. Is there anybody else? Kyle comes in at $32. I got to bring my YouTube chat. Uh, Flippin' Hot Finds came in at $35. Sorry. Vintage Treasures, Paul, thank you. $40. This doesn't have, um, it doesn't have like a manufacturer's name on it or anything, but it is really cool. Or a box. No, mm -mm, Chachi, they don't. No, not at all. Yeah, no, the, the, this is much smaller. Chachi is out. We have flipping hot finds at $55. Waiting on vintage treasures. Paul, let us know. Yes, Frank. Frank comes in at 60. Thank you, Frank Perez. Vintage treasures is out. Thank you, Paul. Christine said, be right back. All right, honey, we'll be here. Billy, 65 would be the next bid. We got Frank in at 60. Flippin' Hot Finds comes in at 70. Thank you, guys. Kyle Elliott is out with a bat, a man, and a computer. Yes, Frank Perez, I know he was. I'm ready for it. Friday night. Billy comes in at 75. Thank you, Billy. Frank is out. Flippin' Hot Finds jumps the bid to 90. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thank you.
Thank you, Shriker. Thanks for all your help, Shriker. Wow, it's not beautiful. But the colors are, who was it that said the colors were really beautiful? I think it was Jules. Let us know, Billy, if you're in or out. Billy comes in at 95. Thank you, Billy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chachi. Oh, Shelly, that's my phone. Um, somebody just who texted me. Somebody just texted me. Ooh, flipping hot finds comes in at a Benjamin. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Billy folds. Flipping hot finds gets it for one hundred dollars. Thank you. Awesome, flipping hot finds. Thank you, Billy. Thank you so much for bidding. Everyone else, thank you so much for bidding. Kyle and Frank Perez, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Are you eating? <laughs> Good. I just did too when you were showing. <laughs> what did your husband make? You're muted. I can't hear you. Maybe with clam sauce and garlic bread. Oh, nice. <laughs> T's husband cooks all the time. All right. Flipping hot finds. Here, okay. That was my lot number four comics and book. Flipping hot finds for one hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. So, okay. Susan, close your eyes, please. Susan. This is, you know, I always say that for this is for the girls in the house, but you'd be surprised. I think my last couple of ones, a, a guy bought them. <laughs> so these are, let me show you what they look like. And then I'll show you how many you get. So these are these flowers and they have a clip and they have a pin and they have an elastic. So you can wear them as a pin. You can wear them in a ponytail. They can be worn by children. They can be worn by adults, or you can wear it as like a corsage pin. So they're really cool. Um, and these are all the different colors that you get. And I would like to start this at 25. Um, you don't get the sparkly scarf. I just put it on there for display purposes. But um, I'll, I'll show you the different colors. And I don't know how many are on, on here. One, two, three, um, four, and five, six. The big white one is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This one is a clip, which is twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, about 23 of them. Is Bruce leaving? Good night, Bruce. Sweet dreams. Or you can decorate a popcorn box. And you can use them for decorations. Anytime, Don. <laughs> and it shouldn't take you that long. It should be quicker than that. <laughs> Especially at this hour. <laughs> Is there any interest in these? I've done Derry, Derry, New Hampshire in three hours and 50 minutes. Wow on a Thursday night with the truckers.
No interest, you guys? I can bring them back another time. Oh, Shelly came in at 30. I didn't see Shelly. Yeah, Shelly bought the lost ones, I think, too. Shelly, they're beautiful. And they can be worn so many different ways. And and this clip, you can, um, if you choose to wear it in your hair, the slip, the, the, um, the pin, I think, slides right out. Well, this one's not sliding. Oh, yeah, it does. It slides right out so that you can just wear it like a ponytail holder for a child or... Um, you know, or you can wear it as a, you know, in your hair or like on your coat. Kristen Paxton, $32. Thank you. They're beautiful. I used to, my little girls used to wear these in their ponytails all the time when they were little. They always had either a bow or a flower, always. They're so cute. And the bigger, the better. <laughs> I love the big white one is so beautiful. So cute on a child with a pretty white summer dress. I always dressed them. My mom used to hit a bow to my bald head at one years old for my birthday. <laughs> I had no hair. And now I'm going backwards again. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yeah. And some of them have um, like these pretty accent like feathers on them. You could take the feathers off. Put, put a bow on the very top of my head. I used to do that all the time to my girls. My mom used to do it to me. I always had bows in my hair when I was a little girl. No, so, Sandy, honey. I'm up. I'm on Long Island, Sandy. You know that. Stockbridge is um, out in Western Massachusetts. No, I used to drive to Derry, New Hampshire. My family, I have family up there. It's out. Okay. Like every weekend I did it for like a year. I almost moved there. All right. So this is going to be for the flowers. They're going to go to Shelly, right? For $34. Yep. Shelly loves her bows. Shelly, do you buy them for the kids? For the grandchildren? What? She's going to come back and say, no, I'm only 22 years old. I don't have grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think you know someone. Right? I ended up on the phone today for an hour. Just when you think you know someone, you don't know people. T knows what I'm talking about. I talked to a daughter of a good friend of mine today for a very, very long time. And this is a friend of mine that I've been friends with since I was six years old. Just when you think you know someone, you don't know them. Hey, Miss Martha. Miss Martha. Hello, sweetheart. I hope you are well. Miss Martha sends me a text message the other day and she writes, sorry, I had to do it. And she sent me a, a picture of a big tractor trailer in front of a liquor store. And it said fireball. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought it was going to say tea. <laughs> and she goes, she writes, sorry, Miss Donatella. I love you. I had to do it. <laughs> and it's a big, huge tractor trailer fireball. <laughs> it was hysterical. I don't know, but if she would have sent that to me, it would have made more sense. <laughs> no, the whole fireball, the fireball. I know. I'm yeah. Oh, because of the uh, because of the alcohol, yeah. The All right. Truck. I have a very interesting lot for you guys. Let's see if there's any interest in it. I don't know anything about it, to be honest with you. And if you do know anything about it, you're probably not going to want to talk about it in the chat because you're probably going to want to keep it to yourself. But I'll show you what it is. It's uh, it's magic, magic. They're old, okay. Magic cards. No, um. So this one's 1976. Money magic show secret instructions. TV magic is this one. So I guess it's kind of like this one is. 
like shows you magic tricks. I don't know if there's a following for this stuff. I thought it was pretty cool. Magic with cards. That's a pretty cool one. Magic for fun. And another magic with cards. So, you know, the summer's coming and parents are probably going to be looking for like summer reading stuff for their kids. Um, Shelly writes, ooh, magic. Okay, then I have magic explained. Probably the secrets to a lot of magic tricks, right? I would say 35 cents. It's an oldie. And then here is Scarney's magic tricks. Scarney's. Do you know who that is? Scarney's? No. Is that, some, is that someone famous? And somebody like gave away all his magic tricks? Is that what happened here? That should be against the law. Oh, maybe he wrote it himself. Never mind. <laughs> maybe it's his own book. Maybe he's giving away his own his own secrets. Um, Classic Secrets of Magic by Bruce Elliott. Look at that, Bruce and Elliot. Bruce went to bed though. Handbook of Magic. Marvin K. Not to be confused with Marvin Gay. Marvin K. And here is Bill Severin's book of magic. Oh, so he's he's put out. Oh, look at this one. The Puffin Book of Magic. I like that one. Look at the graphics on that, you guys. That reminds me of who can name the artist. He's from Brazil. He does this kind of paintings, you guys. What's the name of that artist? Do you know the name of that artist? I had something of his that I sold on eBay a long time ago. And I actually have one of his scarves somewhere. Unless I sold it already at auction. Do you guys do you guys know who I'm talking about? He's from Brazil. No, mm -mm, no, 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 Susan, that's not it. Brilo, I think it's Brilo. Yeah, that there it is. Yep, J J I guessed it. Yep, Brito. Doesn't it remind you of his work? I think so. Kind of his work, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So this one is, um, look, at it was only $1.50. Great Secrets of the Master Magicians. I would like to look at books like these. 131 Magic Tricks for Amateurs. Oh, this is a good one. I bet this one's good. No, it's not Pablo Picasso. It was Burrito. No, Brito, Brito, Brito. She, J, J, I guessed it right. Brito. And how come J, I is not wrenched? Do they, they're registered, aren't they? J, I is wrenched. The wrench is right there in front of her. What are you oh, talking oh, about? I don't know. I think my eyes went to the, to the J for oh, some reason. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And the wrench I, is I, got, I got confused <laughs> there for a minute, minute. Yeah, it's Brito. It is Jules. Okay, magic tricks, 101 best magic tricks, handkerchiefs, card tricks, mind reading tricks, rope tricks, and all of the others. Very cool. And then magic step by step. All right, so it's quite a collection. Let me tell you how many books you get in this collection. You got, wait, why is Sandy saying, oh my God, did I say something? Um, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen books. Thirteen books in this collection, and they're all in very good condition. I'll show you. I mean, they're old for sure, but they're in good condition. Like none of the covers are ripped, and they're not. They don't have that like, you know, musty like book smell about them. Look at a dollar forty-five. So, this person took very good care of these books, and they are really awesome. They're really cool. Picky Nikki's out. Chachi comes in at forty-five. Thank you. 
Can you still do magic, Chachi? Chachi does magic? Why do you say it like that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just want to know how come Shrike knows that. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm like, I don't understand what's going on here. Do people know each other like outside of like here and like really know each other? Oh, I can, I can. I still have a few magic ducks. So he's a real magician? Chachi, you're a real magician? <laughs> he's like, haha, that's a riot. What is going on? Show? You guys are wicked gullible. <laughs> I'm so wicked gullible. No, he's just being friendly, <laughs> Chachi. <laughs> I love, how, I love how he like goes. I love how he just like went with it. Like no, just just went with it. And I'm thinking to myself, does Shriker know him? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know Chachi. <laughs> he just made you disappear, Sandy Kirk says. <laughs> Oh. He still thinks it's yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're going to the magician's house. <laughs> Maybe Striker's psychic. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? All I know is that we sold the magic books. The magic book <laughs> sold. How much did they sell for? I wasn't even paying attention. 45. Everyone's friends at the auction left. This is Rainy. <laughs> right? They're losing it. People are starting to lose it. I got to get Chachi's spelling right. Not that it's hard to spell, but. <laughs> You still gotta be calling me for his information tomorrow. So don't even bother. A C H C H I. I got it. No, to my defense, that <laughs> Dale was not on that list. You made a mistake on it. <laughs> to my defense, she did. You guys, she made a mistake on it. I don't make mistakes. I'm perfect. Yeah, Ask you my do. Husband. Ask my <laughs> husband. <laughs> He'll tell you. Congratulations, Chachi. I've been coming the amazing Chachi. Maybe I should just keep quiet. No. Why would you want to do that? Oh, Jen Bennett said he wrote, he said he had a couple of these books in his teens. So I didn't see that in the chat. Oh, okay. Which explains why... Shriker said, do you still do magic? That's <laughs> all I saw. So I thought Shriker knew him and knew that he did magic. Now it all, thank you, Jen Bennett. Now that explains everything. Thank you for explaining that, Jen Bennett. God, that is so funny. That is hysterical. All right, I'm going to do some old cards, you guys, for my next lot. Let's see what's in this. Just call him Scott Bayo. <laughs> Chachi. <laughs> they do. They do, Nancy. I'm not, I admit, I admit to it. I am not I am not quick-witted. I'm not. It takes me a minute. Sometimes things need to be explained to me. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I just need sometimes an extra minute to process it. I don't know why. I'm not like quick with jokes and stuff either. It's, it's, just, it's just, you know what it is with you? It's because English is your second language. No, I've been in this country for a very long time. That shouldn't, that shouldn't be it. I think that's it. It doesn't translate right. Go with it, Donna. Just go with it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I will. Okay, this is what we have. She is miserable. And look at the one with the arms on her shoulder on her on her um Oh my god, yeah. 
She's like ready to scream. I hate to or say it though that 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 mean lady looks like my father's mother, my grandmother. <laughs> does it? Oh my god, it does. Are they Italian? Um, I don't know. My grandmother was Polish, so <laughs> she needs a new bra really bad. Yeah, big time. Doesn't she? Yeah. I feel, I feel bad. <laughs> okay. So here's some cards. Um Thank you. <laughs> they are written Wanda. in some of them. Wanda. Huh? Wanda was a witch. Look at how cute this one is. Where's Elizabeth? Oh, it has something on the bottom of it. Oh, Shelly. Shelly's writing the story. Dang, they just found out the girlfriend is Prager's. <laughs> oh, God. You think that's what happened? They're mad. Cute little Valentine. Dude, what are we going with on that? She needs a bra. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> to my wife on her birthday. It's pretty. It's got some ribbons on it. Um, what do you think we should start this off at? 20. Yeah, grandma's piss, Susan, for sure. Ephemera. <clears throat> Grandma is pissed, pissed, pissed. To my wife on her birthday. Thank you, Richard. Oh my gosh, this card is like, all right, this card is from 1945. Can you imagine going into a store and saying, I love this card. The colors are beautiful and I'm <laughs> gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this card because the colors are beautiful and I just know, hope you get well soon. Look at, I mean, it's that's kind of like Packing Craft Chicago, number 1029, 1945. Isn't that like the most boring card ever? Dearest Mother. Oh, this one's beautiful. So these these cards, you guys, there's a lot of um, people do junk journaling. Yeah. That, that that stripe one too, it has an ice cream cone on the inside and it's a get yeah. well card. Like that could be that could be like the colors of the ice cream sickle on the outside, like a popsicle. I don't know, but there's Make a letter. Somebody in there. happy. They're very Dear they're very colorful. Dear Betty. Dear Betty, it's from New York. I was Oh, I know Betty. I'm really sorry to hear you were in the hospital, but I'm glad it's over. We had just assumed that you were back to your same good self. And I know Florence will be most surprised when I show her George's letter tonight. It's so funny how, you know, the writing is so different from years ago. Here's a little, um, this one is to mother. All right, you guys, you know how I get when I get these old cards and stuff. I want to read them all. This one's beautiful. This is a very beautiful card. Very beautiful. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> Rich, coming up. <laughs> coming up, Rich. <laughs> we need a, a spun, SpongeBob Manly. Okay, well, all right. I, I have some Manly stuff, but look at how beautiful that is. Watch, the girls are going to bid on the manly stuff anyways. Here's that one. All right, I'll go through this quick. There's this one. This one's absolutely beautiful. It's got sparkles all over it. This is a nice ephemeral lot, you guys. There's this one. Hi, Stinky. Cute. Mother. Did you know that Betty had a baby? Is my Valentine. This one with the kitty cats. It's got fur on it with canopy over the bed or under it. I don't know what it says inside. I'm not gonna read it. I don't wanna bore anybody, but I am gonna read this one. Christine Rose is like, I buy tools. 1953, dear George, don't you fuss about a thing. Go right out and have a fling. One year older may seem bad, but 
think think of all the fun that you've had. It won't help to blow your top. Just be thankful they don't stop. Happy birthday, Bob. What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. <laughs> right? right. KJ's like, Donna, read them while doing the lava lamp. <laughs> Can I read this one? Oh my God. Ooh, something was in there. Oh, it's a dollar bill. Oh. <laughs> Hold maybe on. It's a, maybe it's $120. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Not from 1953. Let me see. Hold on. It's fell on the floor. Let me see what it's in. What is this that fell out? <laughs> I know. Hey, Robert Williams. Yeah, it's also weird. It's also weird. <sighs> it's just a little picture. Oh. It's just a little picture, but it's old. It doesn't have a year on it, but it's, um, I don't know. Okay. I'm almost done. This one's cute. Look, I'm in the birdhouse. Hello. Can you see me? Oh my God. <laughs> She's lost it, folks. Hello. Hi, guys. Look at it. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, sorry. Oh, this one's adorable. Poor little ducky. This one's beautiful too. These are gorgeous. These are really, really beautiful um, old ephemera cards. Um, oh, could I mean, could they spare it? Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they didn't even they didn't even go by they didn't even go into the junk drawer to get a pair of scissors to cut it. Look, they just like ripped it across the bottom. Happy birthday from Karen and Pal. That's crazy. <laughs> That's just crazy. They couldn't even go like I don't know. Okay, there's another one. Here's a beautiful I don't rose. Judge. You could have been a child. Don't I know, judge. No, I know. I'm sorry. 1951. Do you guys no? Just put a one in the chat if you want me to read this. Just put a one in the chat if you want me to read this. Everybody's gonna stay silent. <laughs> I should say, I should say, oh Shelly, you want me to look at look at they want me to read it. I'm not gonna read it. Are you kidding me? Look at five. Stop. Stop. <laughs> T, you're so mean. <laughs> you are. You're like the mean friend in high school. <sighs> Keep your little trap shut, will you, T? <laughs> will ya? And nobody will know. What's this about? That you're, you've added a year because it sure doesn't show. <laughs> Shrike is like, no numbers in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Shriker. We're breaking our own rules. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Happy birthday, cousin, to a very dear friend. Oh, there's a lot of writing on this one, too. I, you're I, Betty. That bra ain't working for I you. Read I can them. see every buckle and fold. <laughs> If I had time, I would read them all. Every single one of them. Hmm. Okay. For someone who's sick. Either one, just take your pick. Get well quick or get well quick. Now that's a stupid card. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's silly. Oh, what does it say on there? Hallmark. It it is a hallmark. Yeah. Wow. Copyright what year? Let me look. 1945. It's called Hall Brothers. Hall Brothers. That's what it used to be called. 1945. Quick, you look up ninjas. When did Hallmark first, when was it first established? 1890. No. Did you really? Do you know that for sure? No. How do you know that? I don't know anything. Okay, there's a little piece of paper in this one. It says, 
saw George on the street this morning. <laughs> we're still talking about George. And he told me you were in the hospital again. I'll be I'll 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 at least get a card to you. Hope you will be home again real soon. Sincerely. George got kicked to the curb. 1910, says Beaver. 1910. Thank you. I was you. close in 1890. I was within a decade. Well, two decades. Yeah, Betty threw his ass out, right, Susan? This whoever wins this lot, there's a lot of reading here. <laughs> lots and lots of reading. Okay, and that's the last one. That's it. Sorry if you guys were bored. I love these old ephemeral lots. I just love them. All ephemera and then grandma with the Victoria's Secret bra on. <laughs> no, I'm not going to read another one. Right, Shelly? Right. That's what I say. George got kicked to the curb. That's how come she saw him out on the street. <laughs> Don't know yeah, they can read it, right, Christine? Back. What's what's that link Don just dropped? <laughs> Not bored. Read another one. It's clearing my lungs. <laughs> oh God, that's so funny. Why is it clearing your lungs? Oh, because she's laughing. Probably because she's laughing. <clears throat> the cards are beautiful. The color and the flowers still vivid. Aren't they beautiful, Susan? I think that they're beautiful too. I love all those old cards. So pretty. Okay, who has them? Deborah Reed or Deb huh? Debbie Smith. Oh, Debbie Debbie Smith. Debbie Smith, and I have all your toys to ship. Twenty six. Twenty six dollars. Awesome, Debbie. Thank you so much. Okay, I think that was my three. I'll put you on. Show some boy stuff. All right. Well, I'm just going to grab these. Um, the boys want boy stuff. All right. Well, these these are just sports books. All right. That's boy stuff. This is what we have. One of the girls are going to buy them. Quiz. Yankees. Nineteen seventy yearbook. Right, Susan. Nineteen seventy-two yearbook. Oops, this one. Unfortunately. Cover is detached from this one. Sport magazine. April of. April 1969. What's up, Mom? The Mets. Hey, what's up, babe? 1981 Mets. Cat Yankee Catalog. New York Press Photographers 1979. This is this is a bunch of all kinds of stuff. This is. Oh, this is this is more of just New York itself. It's called New York Press Photographers Association. I mean, it's got plenty of sports in here, but it also has some other stuff in here. I just saw Mayor Koch and uh, Danny Thomas. New York Nets, nineteen seventy one seventy two. New York Rangers. Versus the Penguins, 1981, that one was. Volvo Masters, January 10th through the 14th, 
January 31st, 1982. Dak Heisman, 1980. New York chapter, Knights of Columbus, Golden Anniversary. All right, so this is a little bit more than, I guess, um, sports. I thought there were show sports here, but it's a little bit of a mix. Kick Magazine. Cosmos versus Connecticut, July 31st, 1977. New York Rangers versus the St. Louis Blues, Madison Square Garden, Sunday, March 2nd, Giants versus Bears, the MVP, the story on Mod Squad. New York Rangers, Los Angeles Kings, Madison Square Garden, Thursday, January 23rd, 1969. Nineteen ninety two Minnesota Twins yearbook world championship. I guess they won in nineteen ninety one. College basketball at the garden. And guys, don't forget to check these books for signatures. So I am told anyway. All right. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20 total. Figure there, late 60s, early 70s on the most part. There's a couple of one-offs in there. That's Ed Gosherman in Net Notice, No Goldie Mask. Got it. Kelly comes in for 27. <laughs> you guys want more cars? You want some posters? I have some concert posters. Or I can do, oh, I, you know what I have, I'll, I'll show next. I have, um, I have some music books. Collectible, good collectible books. Posters, I can do the posters. I can do the posters. All right, I'll do the posters. <laughs> posters win. <laughs> I don't think I have any black leg tonight, though. I didn't bring any. <clears throat> but I have some other ones. I'll clean up what's on my desk, and then I'll look for some more. Christine, let us know, honey. Okay. All right. Let's call it to Kelly for 27.
27. All right. Sold to Kelly. Congratulations, Kelly. All right. What do I have here? Stuff sitting right here. Let's see what this is. Just unplug my phone. It's charged. It's not falling on the floor. guys know it's guns and roses I, mean, I think i have two different ones yep so we'll do both together To jewelry galore um i don't have any jewelry tonight i didn't prepare any jewelry for tonight donna mike i don't know all right so it's that one And it's this one. Anthony comes in for 15. Just me's in for 17. Little Martin's Nest now at 20. Bluegrass comes in for 25. What year is Jack? Hey, Jack. Um, this one is 1988. Nineteen eighty seven on that one. And just me jumps. Actually, little Martin's nest jumped. <laughs> Forty two now the little Martin's nest. Yeah, so this one's nineteen eighty seven. welcome Jack so 87 and 88 on these All right, we have just me in at 44. Forty-six to Little Martin's Nest. Forty-eight to just me. Anthony 
Anthony Sal. Oh. All right, little Martin's nest going to be out. We're going to sell it to just me. I am, Lindsay Ann. It's been a busy week. All right, we're going to be sold to just me for 48. Congratulations. All right, let's see if you guys, let's see what else I have here. I'm not even sure 100% what I have. Oh, gee, look who it is. New kids. New kids. I'm not sure. I know I have another new kids. I just don't know if I have it here. I might have to run in the hallway. Let me run in the hall. Yeah. All right, so I have this one. Richmond Hill, that's where my mommy lived. Well, after she moved from the Bronx. <laughs> Any interest in new kids? If not, we'll pass on this one. We'll move on to the next. All right, looks like we're going to pass on it. Oh, Pat's going to come in for 10. Well, from Dawn. Fourteen from Pat. Don says, Pat, you can have it. All right, there's no other interest. I think a lot of people did, Courtney. They're just not admitting it here. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg is my favorite. 
I'm sure it is, Chach. I'm sure. All right, we're going to call it to Pat at 14. All right. Donna, are you here? I am. Oh, okay. You were very quiet. Oh, I I was mute. I was muted because I didn't want to interrupt. That was my three. Okay. All right. So what do you think, guys? Should we bring out the Star Wars? Or some beautiful jewelry, some old photographs, some clothing. What do you think? Comic books? Yes to everything? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Plush lot? Star Wars, Star Wars jewelry. Bows. Who said bows? Shelly. Oh, I don't have any more bows. I have to get some more. Comics. Have more, but I don't have them here. All right. Let's do some Star Wars. Let's do some Star Wars. Um, let's start with... Okay. Put the jewelry away. I'll bring that in a minute. I'm always in the mood for comics. Okay, I'll get some comics too. Let's start with these Star Wars. So the first one in the Star Wars lot is going to be this PSA. And it's going to be the Princess Leia. All right, you're going to get this. And then here you go with 1977. Shriker, what do you think? What should we start this at? 20? Okay. All right. You get that one. This one. This one, this one, that one, and that one, <clears throat> R2-D2, Luke Skywalker, Defending the Starship, Space Pirate, Hans Solo, and how about if we add perhaps... Let's see, how about if we add that sticker to the mix and that sticker to the mix. What do you guys think about that? Is that a good lot? Two stickers 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen cards and the PSA graded C-P3O and Princess Leia. Dawn is out. Kelly Foley comes in at 50. This is a great lot. These are in excellent condition. All these cards... Let me go into my YouTube chat. Okay. Saxton comes in with a Benji. Whoop, 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 woo. Thank you, Saxton. Anybody else? Kelly, it's um, $10 increments after 100 I hate to be like T, but <laughs> is that right? You're muted. You hate to be like me? <laughs> well, I mean, like corporate. You hate to be like me. There you have it, folks. You heard it first here. You heard it first here. The whole, the whole corporate thing. <laughs> we have rules. It's not We're, corporate. It's just the rules. We have rules. We have rules. <laughs> Courtney's like, oh, Donna, Donna, Donna. <laughs> Saxton's at 120. Saxton, how about if I throw in another one? Then how much will you guys give me? That's right, Shelly. Yes, two. Two, Shriker. I know. I'm, I'm out of control tonight. I'm sorry. Two, two stickers and all those cards. Yep. Saxton's info for one forty. <laughs> okay, Shelly, I won't. This is a really nice one. Or just to say you can't get it. What's that? It, is that me or is that Donna? What's that? That you're completely pixelated now. I am, you guys? Is it me or is it Donna?
It is Donna. Okay. Yeah, she's Pixon. Okay. Um, you can't see me? No, it was just, it was funky there for a while. I mean, it's all, we could see it. 150 to Kelly. Sandy, get your eyes checked. <laughs> No, she's better now. She's better now. And no, um, the uh, who asked? Somebody asked about C three PO. C three PO is not great. Uh, R two D two is not graded, Paul. This is just a sticker in a case or in a sleeve. Looks like it could be graded though. It because definitely is gradable. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look at the condition of it. It's beautiful. It's an excellent condition. And this one also. Look at the condition. Look at the corners. Yeah. They're in excellent condition. Saxton is at 160. And Kelly's going to be out. Anyone else? 170 to Chai. No, Sandy, not yet. Not till July, they said. 180 to Saxton. Thank you, Saxton. These are all in excellent condition. You guys get them. Susan. Star Wars stuff is almost gone. I have to get into the storage unit. I know I have some more, some more Star Wars um, figures. I think I have Star Wars figures, and I think I might have some more Star Wars battleships. I'm going to try to get to the storage unit this weekend because I got to pull out some more of the um, the old vintage clothes because I still have some orders that I need to fill of those. Some more of those beautiful gowns. I still have so many of those beautiful gowns. High bid at Saxton for 180. <clears throat> Going once to Saxton for 180. One ninety. Thank you so much. Two hundred to Saxton. Thank you, Saxton. Thank you, Saxton. Thank you, Cho. Chow is out.
Did you sell the R2D2 PSA 8 already or are you not bringing it back? Nope. I didn't sell it yet. I know I'm going to bring it back. Hans is solo. All right, going twice to Saxton. Fair warning. Saxton, ciao. Thank you so much for bidding, Saxton. Congratulations. Uh, what did it sell for? I didn't even pay attention. 220. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Shriker. Thank you so much for taking care of that for me. Star Wars. All right, let me mark this bag. Hey, K Fry. Congratulations, Saxton. Whoop, 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 whoop. You go, girl. That was lot number eight. All right. Awesome, awesome. All right. Um, <clears throat> Okay, let's do um, let's do another bag of clothes. Let's see. This is a huge bag. Let's see what's in here. Um, these are um, size twelve. They're the Isamazer. I can't pronounce that. Isamazerati. They're they're stretch. Um, and they're really nice, size 12. These came out of the rich lady's house. Okay, so there's that pair. Wait a minute, let me make sure my marker has a cover on it. I don't want to get marker on it because they're pure white. And then the next pair is called Counterparts. And it's a 12 petite, just black pants, 12 petite. Counterparts is the name on it. Um, the next item is a two-piece set, and it is from the company Char uh, Size Small, Charm uh, Char Charming Charlie's. They've gone out of business. They're no longer in business, but it's the little camisole, and then here's the, this is the back of the sweater. It looks like it has a little pull here. You'll be able to fix it. Just pull it pull it back through, not anything like badly damaged. Um, here's another beautiful pair of um, <clears throat> black slacks. They're size 12 and they're Jones, New York. Just a very nice pair of black slacks. The fabric almost feels like gabardine. It's nice. Um, then there's this cute little off the shoulder number. It's called Roommates. Don't know that manufacturer, but it's a cute little black and white. <clears throat> and then this is what I'm talking about. See, then she had like Old Navy in her closet too. Like she had all these big designer names and then she, and then Old Navy. These almost look like men's pants, but 36, 32. Um, so I guess they could be men's pants. I'm not sure. They're cotton. So I don't know, but it all came out of the same house. This is bar three, a size medium. And she loved these like off the shoulder style little tops. It's a little gingham pattern with a cute little flouncy double tiered sleeve. And then 
we have new with tags um Raf Raphael, which I think is a Macy's, it's a Macy's brand. It's a size large little black sweater. Does it have anything on the front of it? Oh yeah, it's got all kinds of sequins on the bottom. I have no idea. I don't get that kind of information. <clears throat> I don't ask. This one is Andy Way. Andy Way. And it's a sweatshirt with these sequence birds flying on it. I don't even um, I don't even look in the bags when she calls me. She gives me a price, and I just pick it up, and I get what I get, and I have no regrets. Sometimes it's a super score, and then sometimes it's a super score. So, <laughs> like, I just don't even um, I don't go through the bags. I don't ask her any questions. I just I just buy it. Like buying a storage unit, I just buy it. Um, this is a this is a nice brand. This Jolie, um, it's got a nice like tufted sleeve. It feels like it's silk. It probably is. I can tell you if it is. I'll look on the tag. She has a lot of silk. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely silk. Feels like silk. I don't see. Maybe it's on the inside. Oh, it's so cute. So this is, um, oh yeah. So it buttons up the front and then it ties in the front. Pretty, pretty little line color. And here is MB Sebastian. Don't know this name either. Um, it has all of that going on. And this also feels like silk. Very pretty evening wear. <clears throat> and next is August Silk. Now this I know, this brand name I know, August Silk. And has all of those beautiful bling blings on it. And the sleeve is also really pretty. It's, I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's tufted the sleeve and it's so soft. Um, <clears throat> it's probably silk. August silk is the name of it. It feels like it's silk. Here's, um, this is international concepts. So this is a Macy's brand also, but it's pretty popular. She did love her bling, right? She loved her bling bling. And Next is St. John's Sport, size 12, and they're stretchy, and they're a really pretty kind of creamy color, and there's still more. This one is new with tags again. The suggested retail on this one is uh, $125, New York City. Oh, it's a Nicole Miller. That's why it's Nicole Miller. So this is so pretty. It's a soft lavender color with pretty pearls all down the front of it. And... This one is Jones, New York, size 12 again, pure white, nice and clean, very beautiful. Um, <clears throat> a lot of these clothes were in dry cleaner bags. So she sent all her clothes out to be dry cleaned. I don't think she did laundry. Here's another, um, I kind of like this for myself. That's all right. It's an extra large international concepts, real soft, real pretty. It's really nice. It's kind of long. And another pair of pants. And these are 
Linda Allard Ellen Tracy, size 12, wide pant leg. It's a nice fabric. I don't know if you can see the fabrics. You might be able, it's kind of like a textured white fabric. They've got some weight to them too, these pants. I don't know. They're kind of heavy. And then BCBG. New with tags. Um, sweet little BCBG. Sweet little long sleeve. New with tags again. She had a lot of new with tag stuff in her closet. I don't know why she got rid of all this stuff. Maybe she just, I don't know, wants to change her style. Who knows? Sexton's at 33. Okay, so you've got one, two is the pants, three, <clears throat> four, another pair of pants. So they're all size like 12, large and medium, five, six, seven, eight. nine and most of them lined to Donna no the pants are not ten eleven was the sweatshirt twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, if you're a small and a medium and this is your your style, you get a full wardrobe, 18 and 19, 19 pieces, 19 pieces of nice clothes, lots new with tags. Saxton's at 39. Christine, thank you. Saxton, thank you. 19 pieces total, yes. That's lot number nine is the clothing. 43 to Christine. Thank you, Christine. That's like the desert girl comes in at 45. Thank you, girl. That's like the price of probably one top, not even. <laughs> It's awesome. It's a nice lot, you guys. I put together a nice lot for you. <clears throat> 45 to girl. Fifty to Christine. Thank you, Christine. Thank you so much. Thank you, Saxton. 55 would be the next bed. Fifty-five. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, girl. <clears throat> All three of you came in at 55. Thank you. We have an auction. We have an auction. We have 60 to Saxton. Thank you, Saxton. Thank you so much. Christine, 65 or girl, 65 would be your next bid. Whoop, 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 Sandy Kirk says, girl comes in at 65. Let me know if you want to see them again. I'll be happy to show them to you again. Seventy to Christine. Thank you, Christine. It's 
Saxton's out. Thank you, Saxton. Girl comes in at 75. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> Look at Sandy's being a cheerleader. She's like, come on, guys. No, what was it? It was a top. It was a top. It was the Nicole Miller top that had the hundred and something dollar price tag on it. That's not true, Sandy. Laugh out loud. No, it was not. It was it was a top that had a, a big price tag on it. And I'll have more of these clothes, you guys, over the weekend. I was only able to put together, um, I, I put together actually three lots, but I don't know if I'll get to all three of them tonight because it's almost midnight already. AD to Christine. Thank you, Christine. Shelly's, it's the wrong size for you. Yeah, mediums and larges and that one extra large. Oh, really, Sandy? 85 to girl. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. Just let me know if you want to see them again. Christine, 90 would be your next bed. Christine is out. Okay, thank you, Christine, so much. We're going to sell them to girl for 85. Going twice. All right. Um, let's see. Cards, Star Wars. Is it? Am I? Am I on? Am I? Is that my lot too? I don't even remember. T, am I showing again, or are you showing? I think that was two. I don't remember to be honest. What number is it? I think you can usually tell by the number. Is it a three? I don't. I didn't hear you. It's usually in increments of three. So what number was that? Nine. Oh, okay. So then, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Here you go, guys. <clears throat> Thank you, um, Jill. Congratulations. Oh, blurry. Am I blurry? Am no, I blurry? Okay. no, but there's a big bug on the screen. I know. <laughs> I know. It's scary. First day issue, guys. Those are the actual stamps? Yeah. Like they're stamped right on the card? Yeah. Do you know that this is the first time I've watched you um, show them? Oh. Hey, Wes, welcome in. Are you doing 100 pieces, T? Yes, ma'am. Are they all bugs? No. <laughs> Upside down spider? Susan, right? Susan. Oh, that's a ladybug. Let's all make a wish. Picky Nikki, where have you been, honey? Hi, Mary Pelletier. Did you count out a hundred? No, but there'll be a hundred. No worries. Nobody has to worry. T 
She's oh, too. Because Wes said he wanted a recount. Oh, no recounts. You you want to bid? I'll guarantee you a hundred. If you don't want to bid, then you don't have to worry about it. Not your problem. Somebody else's. Pretty. All right. So, T, are they envelopes? They're the first. The stamp represents the first day the stamp was issued. So, in other words, this is. 1999. February 9th, 1999. This is, was the first time they used it. And then the back of the envelope has a description about the stamp. Oh, okay. So it is an envelope. Yeah. So can you use that to mail a letter? I guess you could. I don't know why you would. These are collectible. But <laughs> Pretty. Sweet. Oh, the stamp is canceled. Yeah. Well, because you see whether it, but they, they don't put it, they purposely didn't put it on. Oh, well, oh. actually, they did put the line there. Yeah, they the did. actual stamp. So, yeah, but. Right, Shrek, because the line, if you look, the line is through it. I think once the line is through it, it's can canceled. It's canceled. Yeah. So now is the stamp that's on the envelope, is it like, could you peel it off or is it like stamped right on the envelope? No, no, it's a regular postage stamp. I mean, could you take it off? You could. Oh, you could? It's a regular postage stamp? It's a regular postage stamp, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very cool. I mean, I know I've heard you talk about these over and over, and I know I've heard you showing them while I was like either packing or doing something. Right, right. But I've never like actually sat here, sat here and watched you show them. Okay. Little friends of something. Little friends of childhood. Oh my gosh, that one's adorable. Welcome back, Christine. Mary Pelletier comes in at 25. Thank you, Mary. Who's that? Opera singers. Lawrence Trippett. They are Shelly, aren't they? So cool. They'd be so cool in a scrapbook to put in a scrapbook. Well, usually collectors, what they do, and I have shown the books before. In fact, Frank Perez bought a couple from me, and I think Don may have even too. Or... Uh, KJ, um, some of them do come in. Oh, actually, Christopher Chatworth bought them from me, too, but he didn't even want the book. He's like, just give me them in the sleeve and keep the book. <laughs> That's cool. And do they make a lot of these first day issues? Well, you know what it was? It was like, it was almost like a book of the month club or stamp of the month club. So people belonged. And then obviously this, this collection came from somebody who collected stamps and they used to get, um, in fact, vintage memories. She bought a bunch and I did some mystery stuff with her and I, they weren't even out of the envelopes. I took a bunch of them and I just, gathered them all up and she was funny because she said I'm not paying the past due notices <laughs> because there was some in there that had like a past due like they weren't paying for them but yeah they used to like you know it would be like a you know like the record club or you yeah. know where they would get you know so many a month Jack comes in at 45 1970 1999. There's a big mix in here. Yeah. 1999. Christmas. Christmas again. Seasons greetings. Purple. Blue. 
green, red. <laughs> Donna knows her color chart. <laughs> Maroon. Chartreuse. <laughs> Lilac. <laughs> Cobalt. <laughs> Oh, wait, Madonna and Child. Yeah. Oh, God, I love, can I buy that one from whoever, can I buy that one? Hold that one aside, T. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to buy that from whoever buys this Kwanzaa. I have a personal relationship with Madonna. Mary Pelletier's at 52. There's a wrap. Mary be with 55. I'm sorry, Mary. Oh, she's going to be that person again. <laughs> sorry, Mary. An owl. Who's home? Mamo? Money? Okay, Massimo's home. Oh, okay, Susan. Susan says that you can use them to mail them, but you have to apply. So you'd have to put like a, a forever stamp on it. Yeah. Or whatever stamp. A turtle. A bird from 1999. These are awesome. I don't know if I would want to ruin it by putting another stamp on it, mailing it though. <laughs> Right. Show the back of one of them, please. Oh, it sure. tells the story of the stamp. Edward Hopper portrays American scenes. So it tells the whole story. And then what's it say there in the corner that's uh, that? Let me see. Hold your Edward hand. Hopper. It's still about it's still about him. Uh 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 uh. uh. Most Mary comes in at 55. A collector yes, right. probably Susan, shudder, yes, at they would shudder at the thought. Right, that right, Mary never to face it. Very cool. Oh, some collectors have them mailed to them on the first day to add to their collection, like with their name, you know, written on them. Like there's really no spot to put an address. No, they would belong to like, you know, what it say in top left corner. Like, I don't know, your left and my left, like this, like this is Babe Ruth, or this, celebrate 100, the century. 1998. Oh, there's a way to do it. She just doesn't know how. Oh, this side. Okay, up in that left-hand corner right there. What's that say? Uh, it's blurry. Fleetwood, I believe. Fleetwood. Fleetwood. Good night, Pat. Good night, Patrick. Uh oh, you need to get your roof fixed if you've got raindrops falling on your head. Raindrops keep falling on my head. That doesn't mean my eyes will soon be Crying for me. You're going to get demonetized. <laughs> no, I'm singing. I'm singing. It's not the original song. Who's going to copyright me? Me? I'm joking. I'm joking. Jack comes in at 70. Well, poop, Mary says.
Oh, well, let me see the front of that one again. Sure. Hardships of immigration. That's awesome. What year is that? 1998. They wouldn't recognize the song <laughs> if they sang it. <laughs> Amy, you know, it's funny because that was like one of the first songs as a little girl, I think, like I sang in the car or something. I just did. Right, Amy. <laughs> Dang, resellers, Mary <laughs> Pelletier. Western Cattle in the Storm. All right. Is that it? Are we done yep. and done? Yep, Jack's got it for 70. Jack's got it for 70. And Jack, you know, I guarantee if I say there's 100 in there, if, if I don't have 100 here, you will get 100. If it's more than 100, you'll get them all anyway. <laughs> but there'll be at least 100. And Jack, can I buy that Madonna one for you, from you? I'll give you, I'll I'll take. I'll Jack, you'll get 100. I'm just not putting that one in there. Jack. Well, he might, uh, he might want it. I don't know if he wants it. I mean, I don't have to have it. If he really, really wants it, then just send it to him. He, he might have a personal relationship with her too. So, Oh, thank you, Jack. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. He only wanted the Madonna. <laughs> I like the other Madonna. Mm. All right. That was awesome. Those were great stamps. What's Can the matter? Now? What? Can I go to bed now? Are you tired? You look tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I know, me too. We both had really long days. Oh. And I'm turning blue. I'm turning red. <laughs> Do I look blue in this lighting? <laughs> well, you have a blue shirt on. You got your, your purple in there that's turning blue, yes. Oompa Oompa girl. Okay, you guys, so we're going to be back on teas tomorrow. What time, T? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. We're going to be back on teas at 5 p.m. tomorrow. I promise I'll bring more comics. I promise I'll bring more sports cards. I promise to bring I'll more, more organized tomorrow, too. You what? I had three hours lost today with my father. Yeah. Hold on. What did um, Lisa say? She says, these would be great for them to find out more about these people on the stamps, wouldn't they? Yeah, it would be really great like for them to put them like in a scrapbook or something like that. Yes. Oh, gonna... Saxton, yes. I'm going to do it really quick because I promised everybody if they left a comment last oh, night. Thank you, Saxton. Saxton thank thank you. you for reminding me. Let me just go pull last night's video and pull up the. Um... Yes, we're going to have coffee in the morning and we're going to have Lava Lamp Live immediately following the show. I'm going to set up Lava Lamp Live, which runs all night. So everyone is welcome over there. There's a lot of reseller talk that goes on over there. So everyone's welcome to join us in there. And then I'm going to do the screen for tomorrow morning. 11 o'clock, we'll do coffee at 11. And Shriker's dropping the links. Thank you, Shriker. See you after 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Okay, Sandy, do you have something going on tomorrow, honey? She's okay. going to East Vigil Mass. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. Any specials tomorrow, ladies? Well, you have to come to coffee and find out. Oh. <laughs> I know I need to I need to think of something. I need to think of something really great. 
We can't give it away now. Otherwise, they, they won't come to coffee. Right? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Thank you, Schreiker. All right, just share my screen at the bottom when I put it up here. Ciao for now. Chachi, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your um, purchase. Bows, Donna. <laughs> I have to go to the storage unit. I don't even know what I have in there. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Shelly Tony. Yay. Do you want me to send her the prize? Well, I'll send it. I'll I send it on. Once. I know. I'll send it on your behalf. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Okay, Shelly, I'm going to send you the prize. It will be a surprise. Shelly, you know what it's going to be. No, she doesn't. Well, she has an idea. <laughs> Shelly, it's up to you. You want T to send you the prize or you want me to send you the prize? It's up to you. You decide. Oh, hold on. If I take that. Okay, hold on a second. I need to do this. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, baby Shelly. <laughs> Shelly, you decide. If you want T to send you a mystery prize, she'll do it. If you want me to, I will. Hi, Betty Webb. Hey, Betty Webb. Thank you for all of you who left comments. I didn't even get a chance to go over there and respond, but I will. Oh, Chachi, thank you so much for the rose. You're so sweet. Shelly says, Bose, Bo, send her Bose, she, Donna. She Susan. hasn't decided. Whatever, you're both great. All right. Okay. We'll talk about it. Okay. We'll talk about it. Why does she keep writing Dina instead of Donna? That's the third That's time, though. It's my sister's name. Thanks, Jack. Have a great, great night. Thank you for your purchases. All right, you guys. We'll be back tomorrow night at five o'clock. No, we'll be back tomorrow morning. We'll be no, we'll be oh, on we, lava lamp. No, we're gonna be on lava lamp first. <laughs> we'll be on lava lamp live tonight. Then coffee know, we'll tomorrow morning. <laughs> over to teas. Coffee's on my channel tomorrow morning, and Good then night, over to teas tomorrow night. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Mwah. We love you so much. Thank you, Shriker. 